Hi, I'm Sam, and this is a Game Maker tutorial. I just wanted to teach you guys how to um, make your player move. So first we're going to create a little sprite. Let's just make a regular, let's go 32 by 32 I guess. Default. We can make it a, s no that's not what I wanted. Never mind. Here we could just make a circle about the size of it. Okay, there you go. That's gonna be your sprite. Check. You're gonna want to make name it sprite underscore player. Okay, and make it. Uh, no, let's go. There's it. The origin doesn't really matter. Um, next, you're gonna go up here and click create an object or you can you know right click objects create an object or you can go to resources create sprite sound background and object so I just like clicking it up here because it's easier and I don't have to open or click anything except for that so we're gonna want to name this after our sprite name it object player okay sprite player okay and so for, this is for people who don't like code or haven't been introduced to it yet. So I just want to show you this. You don't have to do this part. Okay, so keyboard, let's go um, up. Okay, keyboard is up. Remember, you don't have to do this. I just want to show you something. So let's go with the speed of two. Okay, start moving up. So now this you want to do, create a room. Okay, see these are the rooms here. You can go and create a room or you can click this little um, white thing here. Room zero, okay. So now you want to go into backgrounds up here and just choose a color that's not the color of your sprite, okay. Now go into objects and add your player object check so I just want to show you what happens if you just used that one piece of code though so remember you don't have to do the thing with the player because I'm just making a point so if you just use that if you're new to game here and you like this is easy you could just use that well let's press left or up is what we did you can't stop it it just keeps going up and up and up that's not what we want. We want to go a little bit up. I mean, if you're doing like a, I don't know, a different game, that might be fine. Um, so what we want to do is we want to delete that. And so when we go up, we want to jump to position. And if we make it relative, that'll mean from wherever we are, it'll then jump, say five, or er, that it'll jump up five pixels but if we don't check relative then it'll put it in as at those coordinates on the whole room so we want to check relative so up I want to say that was negative five okay now I'm going to add another event now up okay so now we have left jump to its position I believe left is negative five let me see what I put here yeah okay and then add event right is five oops relative did I check relative here relative okay add another event keyboard down. So if up was negative 5, down will be positive 5 and relative. Okay? Okay. Now we want to, there's a screen button at the top and it's running it. Or you can click, go up to here to the menu up here and click run normally or run in debug mode. I always run it normally. And then here it also has that you can push F5. I like pushing the screen little play arrow here. The top bar is really handy, you know. So, while this waits, 
So this is just the start to your game, you know. So when you push up, it just goes up. And if you hold it down, it keeps going. It doesn't look the best because it's a circle. But this is usually what I use. And it's just for a basic starter game, you know. And yeah, that's how to move your player. And you can also do direction, both directions. So say I want to push up and to the left, it'll go on a diagonal, which is really cool. So, thank you guys for watching. This is my first ever um, tutorial or video. And I hope you guys like it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, um, bye!